do it, how we do it All up in your face, man, I hate to put you through it I be up all night, whole crew's in here Cause I don't really know who I'ma lose this year Oh, man, I love my team, man, I love my team I would die for What's up, this is Condition 12 from iEnthusiast Bringing you a how-to video for installing iOS 4 fonts into your iOS 4 compatible devices and also your iPad. Now, the first thing you need to have, of course, is to have your iDevice jailbroken. And once you do that, go into Cydia, search for Open SSH, and install it. It's not going to be an app. It's going to be one of those tweaks that's going to be integrated into your phone. All right, guys. Uh, once you do that. Let's go to Safari and let's type in www.iphoneruler.net. All right, this is his home page. What we're going to do is click here, look for i, click on here, look for iOS 4 compatible. All right, I know which font I want. I want the teen font, so that's on the second page. So we're going to go to the second page here. Let it load, and right here you see Team Font. So I'm going to click on the screenshot. And you're going to see here there's two options. You can either download for your iOS 4 or also for your iPad. And if you have still under uh, 3.1.2 or 3.1.3, you could use this to download that for that. But we're doing this for iOS 4 or for the iPad. So when you're ready, you can click on this. It's going to install and download into your uh, desktop. If you have it set up that way, just, you know, like I have it, I have it saved to my desktop. So you can do that. Here, it's a quick guideline on how to install it. You know, whenever you want to, you can read this. Again, you need to make sure also you have SSH installed into your iDevice. And if you need this as a reference, you can do so. All right. All right. So again, you clicked on this. It downloaded into your uh, desktop, which I have it here. Teen font. So let's get ready to this manually into i device. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up this software that's on my computer. I'm gonna click on this. my password the password is alpine it's a default password a l p i n e and the username is root all right what we need to do now is go to he, oh, go here go to systems go to library go to font so we're going to click on this, and we're gonna, what we need to do is, I'm sorry, what we need to do is, is locate, I want to say, one, two, three, six files that we need to drag from here and put it into a folder, all right, which I already did so, and these are going to be the, the ones that you need you need to abstract or copy and then paste it onto a folder onto your desktop. This is very important because these is your default font. And if you mess this up, then again, there's no way of going back unless you restore and all that good nonsense. But these are the six files. You need to make sure that you copy and then paste it into a folder like I did. So these are six files, okay? All right, so you see it there. What I'm gonna do is, is again, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna show it to you again. I'm gonna open up my team font folder. And what I'm gonna do is open this up here. Go here. I'm gonna close that up. Select all 
of my six files here that's on the team font. Oh, sorry, not that one. These six. I'm gonna drag them over and drop it here. All right. So you're gonna replace it, each one, one by one. All right. We need to do it this. Do a quick reboot on your phone. Which I'm doing right now, a quick reboot. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate this again. Wow, the iPad, it's rebooting. All right, so this is how we're gonna SSH the file, the fold the files. Okay, I'm gonna click, go to the main one. Okay, you need to go to systems, library, font, and this folder right here. Again, this folder you need to open up, get the default files that you need to copy and insert into a new folder onto your uh, desktop like I did here, which, which right here, you'll see these are the default, see fonts on iPod, these are the main default files, fonts that are on your iPod or iDevice right so you're gonna again select these files from here select them copy them and then paste them here into a folder like I did and once you did that you're gonna go to your team font select the six new files that you're gonna be replacing the old font which I did before okay, and once you you select and you drag them, you need to drag them into this folder right here. And once you did that, do a, do a hard reboot onto your, onto your iDevice. Right? And with that, you'll see how my font change from the regular default to the new one. Alright guys, if you have any questions, please follow us on Twitter. Uh, leave comments on, to, on the uh, YouTube channel, on the YouTube video. And again, uh, I already did a post about this on our website. So if you want to check that out, again, it's i-enthusiast.com search for uh, my post condition 12 uh, correction I'm sorry con condition and you're gonna see that uh, you know you know I, uh, I did a step-by-step -step written demonstration on how you're gonna install it into your iDevice alright guys take care